Hello to YouTubers, I'm Michael Dodge. I want to <clears throat> show you a little bit uh, about my backyard weather box. As you can see, I have a pretty small backyard with a pool so there's not many places I can locate this box. This palm tree is getting a little bit out of hand. I'm going to have to move it maybe into the far corner over there on the other side of the pool. But what we have here is just a normal type Stevenson screen with a double roof spaced out as you can see here. And then I have a little, little plaque on it stating uh, my location, its location. And on top I have a Coco Raz rain gauge. If you guys don't know about Coco Raz, uh, Google it and find out. It's a good program. Now you'd want this type of weather box if uh, you take any measurements outside with thermometers. Uh, we all know you don't want to put the thermometer in the direct sunlight, so this box has louvers to let the uh, fresh air go in and out. Also, the thermometer is always in the shade. Um, like I stated before, I have a double, I guess you can call it a double roof on this thing to let the, uh, so the air doesn't get trapped inside. And uh, let's open this thing up and see what's inside. Here it is open. It's just a door on hinges here. <clears throat> and inside, See if we can see that. I have my wet and dry bulb thermometers. The dry bulb is on the right. It goes from zero to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And I have an identical thermometer on the left, which is my wet bulb. And it also goes from zero to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, as you can see on the wet bulb, there is a piece of cotton or a wick on the bottom that I wet before I take a measurement and then I turn on this little switch here which activates a fan to aspirate the uh, thermometer wait a couple minutes and take my readings <clears throat> now for power I have a little 9 volt battery in this little jar here keep it uh dry and protected from the weather and it's just a f plain old Duracell 9 volt that runs that computer fan which usually runs off of 12 volts but 9 volts lets it run a little slower which is a little better for this function uh, I have my distilled water in this film cap and uh, I use this little pipette and I will wet the wick with the pipette, turn on the fan, and uh, voila, you'll get a wet bulb reading. Okay, so I've wetted the uh, wick. Let's turn this on and you can watch the uh, mercury in this thermometer sink as I, as the air is blown past it and it's measuring the uh, temperature of the wick. Hope you can see that in there. Oh yeah, you can. So once this is settled for a couple minutes, I'm going to <clears throat> enter the wet bulb temperature and the dry bulb temperature into a app I have, and it'll give me my dew point and my relative humidity. Right now, this thermometer on the right is reading about a hundred. So sorry about that, my phone ran out of memory. But uh, as you can see here, we got uh, 108 on one side on the dry bulb and then uh, around 76 on the uh, wet bulb. Put that into your app or uh, any type of calculation, uh, calculator you have and uh, you'll get the dew point and the relative humidity, which today happens to be 
21% RH and uh, dew point is <clears throat> 59 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, that's it in a nutshell on a backyard weather box. Let me turn this off. Uh, you can put all sorts of stuff in there. And uh, it's really my analog. My digital one is over there next to the umbrella. You can see the uh, anerometer on top. That sends signals to the head unit in the house. But I put this box here a couple years ago. It's probably gonna to need to be moved due to the fact that that palm tree is uh, getting a lot larger. So uh, any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Thank you.